Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11, here today to tell you about a fun event coming up in Hampton Roads that you may want to attend. December, Nutcracker, think in holiday spirit. We got an interesting take on it and with me to tell you about that today is Gail Easley from the Crispus Attics Cultural Center. Welcome. Thank you. And Tiffany Prigram, thank you for being here. You're a student thank at you. the center, correct? Yes. Okay. Gail, tell me about the Attics Theater, the Nutcracker performance coming up. It's a little different than what people might be used to. It is. The Attics Nutcracker takes the traditional Nutcracker storyline and gives it fresh, lively characters, new music, and spectacular dancing. And we're really excited to feature the children from Hampton Roads, mm -hmm. particularly the kids that are around the, the communities of the Attics Theater. And it's a great way for them to participate in a wonderful holiday tradition and introduce them to the world of dance. And we're looking at some pictures from the performance now. Tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here. Well, what we're seeing here are, are, are images from last year. Mm -hmm. um, we featured about 60 children from across Hampton Roads. Okay. We, uh, are, we were there for two nights, mm -hmm. two sold out shows. I highly recommend folks get their tickets early because they are going to see a show that, like they've never seen before. We take the Tchaikovsky music mm -hmm. and we infuse jazz, little hip hop, little R&B, and popular music in addition to the ballet and the um, modern and urban style dancing. Adding a contemporary edge to this. I yes, like it. Yes. Yes. Tiffany, you dance in this performance. Yes. Tell me about how exciting it must be. It's really fun, like at opening night, like we're all like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. A little <laughs> bit of nerves coming in there, but how hard are the workouts, the practices to get ready for something on this level? Um, we really have to get focused so, we, so the audience can have a good show. Mm -hmm. And it takes time, but at the end we all have fun. It's very, probably really rewarding. Yes. Okay. And tell me about your role specifically. What are you doing in this? Well, I was a sugar for Therat. Okay. And it was really fun because I was with my friends. Yeah. And we all danced because I love to dance. And it was just a good opportunity. Okay. And tell me about this, this award that we were talking about briefly before the segment that you guys are up for. Right. We are very excited to be a finalist in the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Awards. Okay. Now this is one of the highest honors in the nation for out of school and after school programs in the arts. Mm -hmm. And if we get the award, we will be honored at a White House ceremony hosted by First Lady Michelle Obama. So the Christmas Addicts Cultural Center right here in Norfolk, or right mm -hmm. in Norfolk off Church Street, is having a program that is go about to be nationally recognized potentially. That is just awesome. We are very excited about this honor and we hope that the award, if we get it, will mm -hmm. um, give us the opportunity to show that documented programs have a huge impact not only on our young people mm -hmm. but on the community itself. And Tiffany, what do you think about the chance to go meet Michelle Obama at the White House? That's a really good opportunity, <laughs> and I really like that. So you guys are working hard for this then? Yes. Gail, tell me about when it's going to be. Well, the the award, if it takes, if we if we get it again, will happen in November. <coughs> okay. So, um, you know, I know I know we're going to be airing this in December, so mm -hmm. we will know by now okay. if that if that happens. So we're hoping that um, everything's going to fall into place and that you will see us at the White House. And for people to get tickets to the Nutcracker, where do they need to go to the website? Yes, they can go to the website at cacc-inc.org or mm -hmm. go straight to Ticketmaster. Okay. Um, we have tickets ranging from ten to forty dollars. Mm -hmm. Proceeds benefit the Christmas. Addicts Cultural Centers, Arts Education Programs, and part of that $40 ticket includes a VIP cast reception where you could get up close and personal with all of our cast members. Tell me a little bit, we just have a moment left, but tell me about the, a little about the history of the theater. The, well, the Attics Theater was built in 1919. Mm -hmm. um, it is the oldest remaining legitimate theater in the entire country that was con entirely financed, constructed, operated um, by African Americans. And we are excited to be able to bring these community-based programs mm -hmm. to the Hampton Roads area and be a part of our, our national history. And the historic stage. I have been on it myself. We have shot video there before. Yes. Tell me about that in the backdrop. Well, of course, the crown jewel for the theater is the, is the uh, curtain yeah. that depicts the Boston Massacre. Mm -hmm. And we are planning to have that lowered in honor of Christmas Attics before the Nutcracker starts. Give me the dates again real quick. December 7th and the 8th. On 8, 8 p.m., correct? At 8 p.m. That's Friday and Saturday night. Get your tickets early. You will have a fun, fun time. We Ladies, guarantee you. Ladies, thank you so much. We are out of time. But I want to thank you for sharing this information with us. And good luck on the award. Thank you very much. And thank we you. want to encourage you to come out to the Attics Theater on Church Street on December 7th and 8th. For Hot Ticket, I'm Kevin Hornsby.